Alright people, what's going on? Just here with another video showing my two bottleneck bench table builds that I will be changing as time goes on. The first one is this AMD, that AMD build that is housing the Ryzen 3 AMD Ryzen 3 quad core 1200 CPU with the Gigabyte X570 Gaming X motherboard which is kind of excessive. Um, it's got the Ration Tech CWB RGB. It's liquid cool with the Ration Tech the Ration Tech CPU block. Uh, we have an EKWB radiator right here. And then it's paired with a liquid cool GTX 1070 Ti with a 240 gig SSD providing storage. A Cooler Master 500, uh, 500 watt Cooler Master MW Bronze uh, <clears throat> power supply and one single four st one four stick uh, one stick of four gigabit RAM provided by A Data and our uh, we're using the Alpha Cool ice station dc ultra reservoir which and of course i will be changing this up as i do see fit and then if you go over here with the benchmark it the graphics test got a total of 35.1 one fps for test one and the test two got 30 fps the cpu score got a total of 2645 on CPU, well, no, the CPU got 2,645, while the GPU got 5,366. Uh, is that, if you go into system info, you can see that we have a 1070, oh, no, not 1070 Ti, never mind, this is a 1070 with the GW uh, block. We got the Corsair series 240 gig, Nadata Premier series 4 gig, running at 2133 megahertz. And right now, our CPU is currently running about 32 to 33 degrees C. With the graphics card operating about 32 degrees C, we are pulling about 83 watts. And our case is currently running at 25 C. And our, we currently are using 1 gig of physical memory with 4 available, 30%. And it's running at a total speed of 2133 megahertz. And now let's go and just bring it over to the Intel bench. Over, okay, over here on the Intel side, we have a Intel Core i3 7350K, oh, uh, overclocked, overclockable CPU, unlocked CPU, on the uh, EVGA Z270 classified K motherboard being cooled by the Cooler Master Hyper 212 LED Turbo, another Cooler Master 500 watt power supply. We, this time we got an eight, a one eight single 8 gig stick of a data RAM, running about 2133 MHz. We have a Zotac Gaming RTX 2080 Super, running on a Kingston A400 240 gig SSD, with a NWIN series loop ASL 120 fan, and this one got a total of 6,968 with 10,039 for the graphics, running about 65 FPS and 60 FPS, and to only 2,000 for the CPU, but the, the CPU running at a total of 8.25 FPS. Now we're going to go ahead and get open up OCCT, just so then we can have a look at how our temperatures are doing with this one. Of course, I will be changing this up, so there will be a couple of videos on me changing a few things up, but right now, I was looking, right. let's go and just run a test. Right now, our CPU is running about 30 degrees centigrade, and our GPU is going running at 32 Celsius. For 200 megahertz on the CPU, 100 on the bus, and then our GPU is currently running at 1,845 megahertz, 100% overclock. Meanwhile, we have 100% overclock. I'm running at 4200 megahertz for the i3-7350K unlocked CPU. Okay, so it looks like 
without anything big going on. My CPU is staying around the 50 degrees range, meanwhile GPU is currently going up into the 55 degree range. We have 340 watt power draw. That's our value. Our minimum is 107 and our maximum is 340. Uh, let's see here. You know we have well, we have system information, GPU tuner, but we're not going to try to overclock because if we try to do any overclock on this 2060, on this 2080 super with this i with this i3 chip, it's not gonna end well. Let's just say that much. Now let's just say that this is a serious. Uh, uh, what's the term? This is a serious bottleneck because we're running a Zotac Gaming RTX 2060 Super, 2080 Super, with an i with a un with a unlocked i3 processor. With and this the the processor has no overclock. So, so does the uh, GPU. Everything's running at stock. Actually, hold on. Here. Let me just look at the XMP profile for the uh, RAM. I wonder if we can get some extra performance out of the RAM at least. This got it on and turn to the BIOS. Okay, so if we try to run, it's not going to matter. I'm still going to be running at 2133, 31, 30 degrees centigrade for CPU temperature. I'm not going to try to overclock this thing at all because it's running at 4 to a 100 megahertz, which is more than enough. But I just turned on XMP. Hopefully that will help some. Hopefully that will help. But I have a lot of builds planned, so make sure you stay tuned. And though I just turned on XMP, I don't think it's gonna make a difference. Yeah, I think it's, to be honest, it's gonna make a difference. It's still running at 2133 megahertz. Well, this is gonna do it for this quick video. I will have a. I will be doing building a PC soon don't know when though so make sure you uh, stay tuned and uh yeah that'll be it for that i'll see y'all in a little bit